Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld. I guess we'll see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into this time. I'll pause right now. Actually, trouble is what I was wanting to talk about, but let's start over here. Um, this is only a couple of hours or a few hours since uh, everyone went to bed. In fact, it's 2 in the morning, and the last episode ended at, I think, 10 p.m., 2200. So not much has happened. I did have Miss P come over here and grab all of the the um, nightstands or end tables they call them uh, carrying end table that were in the hospital that were wood and I got to thinking no I'm making the beds out of steel let's make everything out of steel in the hospital it just feels like more of a you know it fits the theme better metal instead of wood for, you know sanitation wise so germ wise and whatnot so we're moving the end tables out to different places and I moved had Miss Pete move the dresser that was arted for Natalia down to this bedroom. We'll make this her bedroom, get this one going here real soon. So that's most of what happened. But I got to staring at things, and I know Tony had suggested that we get the third wall in over here, and you know, it, it is advisable to do that. It's just a matter of when do we want to take the time to do it. But I got to thinking, I want next to do the kitchen, but the kitchen's in the same situation. It's against two walls which are penetrable. Third, I think, is at the point at which RimWorld stops making this a possibility to plow through it. I may be wrong. It may be, you know, just because we built this, no matter how many walls thick, it's a target. But if they ever did go through it, it'd be much harder later to go through and move everything over one space just to accomplish a third wall you know, after the fact, when we realize, man, we blew that one. So I think I'm going to initiate that process now before we complete the kitchen and then regret it. So we're going to go three walls thick over here and shove the kitchen over one space on everything. That's the plan, but right now everybody's asleep. So I guess I can get this to go. There we go. Get this going. Otherwise, I want to complete the, the hospital. I did have Handy do a couple more beds before she went to bed. So we got some of these going. It'd be nice to get, you know, just two more to do. And, and these patient rooms are basically done. So get Handy working on these and rebuild her dresser. And then get all the carpenters, constructors, over and get this thing shoved over one space. Then we can get back to smoothing floors and bedrooms. And assuming we get to do any of that, you know, it's been quite a while since we've had a raid. It feels like something's coming. So it's got to be soon. Until then, Miss Peep, no, let's let's keep working on our prison area. Why don't you come work on this one? And when you're done with that, you can work on that one. <clears throat> That'll make sure you get there. Otherwise, you're going to break right here and decide to go down to here or something. Oh, uh, everything paused. Incapacitated refugee opportunity. Huh? So we've got Trevino, Jailbird. Contacts you on radio and requests help. He's wounded and, un un and unable to move. Without your help, he will die in eight days. It may be dangerous, so beware. Eh? Jump to. You. Ah, we're gonna spend ten minutes waiting for the world to show up. <laughs> hmm. Do we want to or not? That's a good question. I really want to get accomplished all those plans I just laid out. There's that to think about, too. You're over here, and there's an impenetrable mountain range in between. So if I were to go from here to here, I'm looking at what? Seven days. Oh, travel. This is seven days. Time left. Ah, 5.3 days. Planning mode uses caravan. Okay. Uh, escape, right mouse. All right, I see that. Um, where are you? You are in small hills. Okay. I don't know. I've never done this before. And get rid of that. There we go. And trying to figure that out. So five point some days there. Theoretically, just picking up a refugee and going back. Most likely, it's encountering a raid or something else along the way. Maybe another one on the way back. Surviving all of that. I'm feeling like passing this time. Let's go ahead and get ourselves situated further uh, world. 
in here. I want to get that accomplished. I want to get this accomplished. And I want to get people moved out of this base and into these without a distraction. So, Trevino, sorry. You're, you're on your own there. So just going to have to figure out how to do it. So, let's continue this. Um, Natalia is over here working on an unfinished assault rifle. Good. How are we doing over here, Schmidt? Um, let's go to needs. All right, 62%. Similar, 61. Oyster, 55. And 69. How do we boost you guys' moods a bit? And let's look at chances. 99% chance on purple. Cheat is 99%. Schmidt is 92%. And Oyster is 99%. I wish I remembered what the percentage was for Ugg before Ugg became David. Hmm. We're still going to try for a while, but if we get another batch in the next raid and their folks at better percentages, we may go ahead and let these guys all go and give another try for, with the next batch. We'll see. Though, if we can get this going, then we may be able to, to handle both. You know, a new raid and keep the old ones. Hmm. I mean, the more chances, the better. Klaus is getting really good at it, too. Let's see here. Character, social. He's at 18 now. Learns at 150%. And... Yeah. So... I would think a 20 at social should be able to carve through some 99 percenters without too much time. All right, Miss P is escaping again. Are we good over here? I think we are. I think we've done enough, although it might be a good idea to move into, let's see here, orders, move into this area right here, all the way to that door right there, so we get two entrances into this back pathway here. All right, we'll add that to it. We've got to get this sealed up over here, though. So three walls thick over here would be nice, as well as three walls thick over here. Unfortunately, I can't do anything here. We're going to be two walls thick at this point only. Yeah, this space is backed up to this this whole wall here. So it's just this one space here. This space over here is backed up to this wall. So yeah, we'll only in this spot be two walls thick on our perimeter. Except for the gauntlet and that doesn't count because it's an open doorway. Three walls thick over here. Yeah, that I think is our weak point and I'm a little worried about it. Okay. So I see a David. Uh, pause, David. Working on granite door needs your your fooded up. I like that, David. Let's get you where specifically. Where are you going? You are working your way all the way. Ah, uh, you're going to seal us up over here. At least some, you're heading this direction. That might be a good idea. Tell you the truth. Let's send you in to work on that door or that wall section right there, over the top of everything else. If that it's already got five in it, yeah. Um, yeah, that way we don't build this one and this one and I have access to that. And then there's already five there, already five there, so you should build these without a problem. Let's tell you manually, though, you still selected? No. To deconstruct this one. Okay, so that, I think we tried all that last time and then everybody got distracted. So get those going. We'll get this whole area sealed up. Need to get another block wall right in here to give us three thick on this entire run. And then, Miss P. What to do with you? Do we take this out? Here's something else that I did. We talked about maybe another block of, of housing over here. But I got to thinking, I don't think we're going to get to five couples in this series. Four here and one here. I really doubt it. Doesn't seem to be spending that much time coupling people up, the, ga the game. So I took out the the block over here of double rooms and went back to single rooms. So if we can get, say, this group going over here, we can get people moved into this end of the base. That way, another block over here, we've got people living over here, we've got people living over here, and the center is for couples. And that kind of spreads us out. A good, even disbursement of, of, you know, people accessible to react to a prison break or a raid or, you know, someone dropping in on us or... or we're spread out better. An infestation over here doesn't take out all three of our housing blocks. You know, we'll spread this area out a bit, diversify. So, with that all said, Miss P, why don't you dive into no path, but dive into here and go mining. 
let's take care of this area right here. In fact, for that matter, start here instead. And we can get the walls going in around here. All the walls in for what we have already? Looks like it. Okay. So I wonder if we do have a raid or something coming in, or if that was our event for this, this part of the timer. I don't know. Eric, you're working over here. David, you're going over there. Um, Eric, why don't you work on sealing up this lower end down here. So let's go for... Actually, bring some blocks over to right there. Do that. Kind of fill things in. Miss P, you can get these two going, and we'll fill these in. And then we'll get over to the kitchen and get to work. Handy is still sleeping. Tomasov's sleeping. Klaus is sleeping. Though Klaus is not really on construction right now. All right, you are a wall. Copy. But right there that's a pathway there that's not a wall that's a door I filled it in right okay so you there are a wall that goes there so walls there and down walls up here and down door there another door there uh, granite block door okay that didn't see the word two doors right there good so those are doors and yeah Eric fill in this run here seal it up um, you know, specifically, bring me more parts for the door over here. Oh, it's all in. Oh, good. We'll get the door in, get this wall in here. That seals us. Um, hmm. I know we've got a lot of pieces kind of only partially done here, but if you can bring supplies to that vent, that seals us even better. And then that wall right there needs to be sealed in, too. Mr. P, you are doing what? Consuming a fine meal. You don't have it in your hand. So you're going up in here. Okay, good. That works. Okay, Handy's up. Poison ship. Handy. <laughs> I had to sit there and stare at that a little bit. Poison ship. Okay, I guess... Boy, if we had taken off on that, that jaunt to go and save... What, what's his face over there and had this drop in on us a large piece of an ancient ship has crashed nearby now this is different from our psychic ship it's leaking toxic material and will kill all plants in an expanding circle around itself destroy it as soon as possible where are you going outside the gauntlet okay um, I'm not seeing a shadow yet there it is it's right there and it's gonna land right in that space Anybody out here that needs to run really fast? We've got Sachiko out here, and that's about it. Okay, and thankfully you're not going to take out our power. And thankfully we have power, which means you have con uh, uh, turrets nearby. Ooh, this could go actually not that bad. And we're next to the gauntlet. Oh, this is looking mighty good. All right, let's, right before it even lands, let's, let's move things around a little bit. Zone, take away. Dog zone. You are no longer allowed from here to there. There's no reason you can come out here. And even then, you're not allowed in, in there, and you're not allowed in there. You can go through this door to go get grass or whatever out of here and then come back. Okay, that's you. Let's do the same thing with the pigs. Pigs, boars... You are not allowed anywhere in here, like so. You're not allowed in there, and you're not allowed in there. And probably, let's take that path out, okay. And you're not allowed, oh, beyond all of this either. No reason, no excuse to come out here, like so. All right, you can go up through here to get into there. You can go out here to get up into there. Something like that. I don't think they'll travel from here to there through this zone when there are other pathways they can take. That's my guess. And that's it. Um, home zone. Um, I'll deal with that later. I don't know what's going to happen here. Anything else I need to do? So that's the animals not allowed in there. The grazers are already not allowed over there. So they're not going to get in the middle of this. I don't know how... If... Is there a chance of triggering it and popping out mechs before we're ready? Boom, there it is. Critical fire. Okay. Um, like to put out this fire right here. So I'm going to say, oh, no on sewing. That's for sure. That's all done for this season. 
Um, no one sewing on this one either. That's done because we have a lot of people set for sewing right now. Trying to get everything planted up. So this area is off limits. Um, and let's turn off the home zone for the fire there. It looks like it's going to burn these two trees and be done. So clear home zone. From here up. From here over. Like that. And from here there. And let's just hope we don't get a flash thunderstorm on top of us. And yeah, need to deal with this. Okay. So we're there. We're going to start killing all of our planting out here. Mm, okay. So, and we're going to have this haunting noise in the background for this entire episode. I'm going to turn down my speakers, just in case that's being caught by the microphone and being added to it. Okay, and that should be quieter for you if I get a little further out. All right, so what is our plan here? Apparently, it's not moving the kitchen to today. Hmm. So, con or, um, it's turrets. How far away? I can grab power all the way out to there. And I don't want them too close anyway to be taken out too quickly. We have power down in here. And it's the same power. Okay. So... No, let's, let's not utilize this power. Let's not walk near this thing. Let's not... In case there's any kind of a proximity trigger as well as shooting it. Let's kind of purposely keep ourselves away from it for now. So... Right there gives us a line of fire. Line of fire from here looks like about like this. Okay, so one there. One here. Now, boy, I wish I knew the answer. I could pause the game and go check the wiki if I wanted to, but I'd rather not. Um, plas you can make these out of plasteel. Or can I? Right there, yeah, plasteel. So, needing 75 plasteel, 100 steel, and three components. What if we did something like that? Two plasteels instead of three steels. So that means 150 plasteel. Let's take a quick count. What do we actually have? So, that would leave us with 122 to make things out of. If they survived, then we'd be able to reuse them for the next one. Hmm, but they would last so much longer. They may survive this thing. That's what I'm going to kicking around here. If I made three, it would definitely survive. Two or three steel ones made it right to the last second that very first time. So three of these guys should, at least two of the three, I would think, would survive it, be repaired, and then it could be uninstalled and set somewhere for the next attack kind of liking that idea. We'll get a, we'll replace much of that plasteel with what's going to come out of here when we tear them down. Okay. I think I'm talking myself into it. Let's just cancel you. Let's grab the plasteel version. Line of sight. Wish I could, had an easier way of doing that. Kind of twisting my head over it there. I'm waiting. I'm expecting a mech to kind of park itself right there. So we need, say, one over over here. I want to be able to switch this, so let's not let them tap power. Or at least, well, I guess we'll have to, but we'll make sure that, uh, hmm. No, I'm going to go there, and I'm going to go there. You cancel. Where would we put a third one? I guess further down, it'd be the one that'd be guaranteed to survive. Because they'd be over here shooting these guys. This one will be uh, it'll, it'll still be there after these have really softened them up. Let's put it that way. We'll be indoor shooting as well. We'll be around corner shooting. We may or may not be up in here shooting. Problem with being up in here is once they release and they go after us, we may not be able to get away. Our safe room is way over here. Hmm. We could safe room right there. We could. I mean, it's, it's mostly done. Maybe that's... A smart thing to have anyway so hmm two doors and boy granted is so slow but we could do something like that whichever direction we're coming from we're one more or one tile quicker into it okay well there's that possibility so there there and another one of these somewhere over here 
Something like that. That's not in a tree, so we don't have to chop the tree down. Well, we do if I want to put wall around it. Do I want to put wall around it? If they're... I do if they're blowing... If there's... I did the wrong one. Let's do one from there. Like that. Okay. If they're sending rockets over and it hits here, we're going to catch uh, flack from it. Whereas if it was walled up and hit over here, then it, uh, it wouldn't. So we need to take trees out. Okay. So let's just continue getting things set up. We're going to take out... Hmm. The trees will keep us from hitting them accurately, but it'll keep them from hitting us accurately too. So let's not take out all the trees. We'll take out... Let's go to cut instead. Plant cut. We'll take out those. This is fine. That's fine. We'll take out that and that. Okay. So is that going on? Let's zone... Uh, no, let's build granite wall. Something like that. Let's cancel these so they're not confused. So we can designate exactly what we want done right now. Uh, give me another one behind... This guy likes so... You know, yep, well, I can do it with the tree there. That's right. Okay. So that should... Line of sight. I think that wall's fine. Over here. Do we do something like that? A little further over? Or do we take this one out? No, I think I want that in. I can't do that, though. So that, But that does limit things. I think that one's got to go away. I think it, we're in a shape kind of like that. Okay. Then we are power. And let's do our own power loop so we can switch it. So from there, yeah, let's through through another tree. Let's go there and down. And then over... I think I can still grab it. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take that one tree out. So you go away as well. Okay, you're gone. Let's, fact, let's fix this one. I can do just something like... Like that. Okay. So cancel those right there. We still gotta take that tree out, no matter what. Actually, even better. Right there. This can grab that. So let's cancel this group here. Okay. Switch. Hmm. Yeah. Problem. We're going to switch down here. Okay. Cancel this leg. And let's add one more to there. And we're going to come down like so. And switch from there. That's better. Um, any problem with losing power, though? There could be. Let's redundant this thing. I just don't want to be up in here when I throw the switch. Um, how best to easily do this. We have a door over here already. We do have a door over there. Let's cancel this run. Cancel this. We're going to tear all this out when we're done. We could light all this on fire because there's still wood over here. Let's go ahead and switch there as well. We get someone to throw the switch from here and throw the switch from here and dive back into the doors at the same time and then route themselves around or whatever they need to do after that. Okay. So power from here to there and... You know, down like that. That should be adequate. Okay, so that's laid out. Turrets, walls, switch. Is that all I need right now? I think so. Other than assigning jobs. So, I think that's the next plan. Tomasov, you are on to construction now. So, let's just set you there manually. And make it happen. So, that's... You were on a one on mining? On oh, growing. Oh, that's that's right. Okay. Um, construction. I'll just do it that way. We'll go back to growing when this is all done. So you need to get up and you need to... Where are you at right now? Double click. You are up. Good. You're grabbing a meal right there. And then you're going to... Oh, let's get you putting in... Where am I at? Up here. Putting in power. So you're going to do that one, and you're going to do that one. And that should include the switches. 
In case it doesn't, you're going to be responsible for that switch and that switch. Okay, that's all good. Um, I wonder if I should. This was going to be marble, just, just as a sealer. I wonder if I should do this and get some more of the wood um, covered, hidden. That goes to there. That should safely go to there. We can still get through that just fine. That switch will go away when we're done. Okay. That's marble. That's um, granite. Eric, where are you? You were going to be working on this whole area, but that's all gone now. Okay. So instead, cancel that and come on over to bring some, some granite. Why don't you work on this one? Work on... Oh. Work on this one. Actually, there's really no point in that. Let's do that again. You're going to work on this one. Cancel all those. You're going to do this. And then you're going to bring marble for that. And you're going to bring marble for that. I need someone like Sangria to get in here. What are you doing right now? You're taming a muffalo. You are right there. What do you know? Needs... You're all fooded up. You are good. You're going to cut trees for the day. Cutting oak tree. Tree. Did I get that right? Top one? Maybe. Cut tree. Cut tree. Cut tree. Uh, I think that gets us by here. Okay. And Handy, you are needing a meal soon. You were getting these walls done over here okay hmm do we get the meal first i think we get the meal first so we don't have that distraction coming up so you head over to consume a meal um yep that took the place of that and then you're going to be responsible for this turret over here reserve by tomislav plus what was tomislav doing he was doing the the metal which means it's going to cancel all this Ah, oh, hate the way they overlap. Well, you can do that one. Okay. Rabbit, you don't have construction skill. Which means there's not much you can really do here other than bring supplies over, but that's kind of done. And I don't want you up in here. Okay, so Rabbit, you go ahead and do what you were doing, which means getting us food. Shantigo, you go ahead and continue making us food too. Meals. What do we have here? We have one of those. So Shantigo is... The meat's already there, but you're hauling meat. I don't quite get that, but if you were to haul this, that would make much more sense. So if you bring that over and just start working. This stove is 43 out of 50 on fuel, so we don't need to deal with that. Okay, so you're going to do that. And where am I? Klaus, you are up. You are grabbing a meal. Needs. Yep. And then you have got great construction skills, so you are going to take over the second plasteel turret. You're hitting here next. And we're just taking that over from Tomislav. Okay. And Sangria is done. Kathra, what can you do to help? You're already over here. You're sewing. And there's not much more you can do construction-wise, so I think you're out of this too. Natalia is kind of finishing up her day, and we could sure use that assault rifle, so please continue. Michael... Um, cannot construct and we're going to be needing blocks so I'll leave you available to block cut so Michael you are one on cook take that down to a two your craft is first if and we will be hauling the blocks away almost immediately so that should be fine time you get done with your meal you'll, there'll be a need Miss P is going to be going to bed soon so she's probably out of this grab your meal and then get back to our previous conversation since we're, our, our attack is apparently mechs and not peoples, uh, raiders, then I have to say let's get working on this these two apartments right here, these two rooms. So pop into here when you're done grabbing that meal. Okay, Alicia, you're up. You need food. You cannot construct worth anything significant. Really, you're just best used doing what you normally do, gear... If I assign you to do something, though, you're not going to pick up that meal, which would be nice for you to have when you're down in here and just want to quickly grab a meal. So, yeah, I'm going to let you do your own thing, which is most likely to walk down to there or here and just get to work. So you'll be fine. 
Um, yeah, I just got to think it'd be nice to get those going too, but that's not critical right now. So where am I? Eric, you are marble wall. So David, you're left. You're getting this done sealed up, which is pretty important. I already have three things queued for you. Oh, you got that one done. So you're working on your own now. You got that one in? Okay. Copy, paste you. If, although there aren't five blocks over here. There's only... There's 18 over here. Oh, there is. Okay. Then you're going to do that one. You're going to do that one. You're going to do that one which will fill in these over here as well, then you'll probably automatically go to work getting this in. And we'll know that our back door is finally sealed three blocks thick. I think that's probably important because everything else here is pretty much queued up. So yeah, Tomislav, your construction skill is 11. No, 10. David is 11. Eric is 11. Okay. Hmm. Well, we'll see what we're going to do with that third turret. We'll see how to do that. The Sangria is working on these. Hopefully nothing triggers over here. So Chico is just out wandering around. So hopefully everybody that needs a meal I didn't distract. You're consuming. You are not yet. Okay. So, fire's over there. Nobody's walking up there. Just kind of looking things over as I'm going. Uh, Rabbit's getting a meal. Shantigo doesn't need one. Klaus has got one. He's working. Prison break. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Rimworld thinks that, well, spring. This is our second spring, right? Of. Yep, 1502. Well, we've gone through zero and we've gone through one and we're starting year two. So we've been here for two full years. And I guess Rimworld thinks we've grown up now and we can we can handle anything. Oh man. Um Cheetah is moving. Cheetah's going for it. Bugsy's probably gonna get beat up. Because he's heading, he's taking this path to give them their meals. Those, those. Uh, okay, Miss B, I guess we're gonna have a shootout here. I don't see any way around it. Draft, and you're going there, Rabbit. Draft, you're going there, Handy. Draft. How fast can you get? No cover. How fast can you get to here? This door is. Needs to be held open. We need to be able to... Yeah, we're going to shoot Bugsy. We need to be able to get back out of that quick if, if, if melee happens. It's possible we're not going to save some of these. It's possible. Yep. There's no chance of going to get melee uh, weapons. Well, there is some chance. Eric, you're here. Let's think this through. Draft. Hop down. Melee cheetah. Get that one going right now. Um... Boy, this would finish things off so well. Um, character, you're a four at melee. Miss B, you're a two. Shantigo, melee, you're a three. Rabbit, you're a four. Shantigo's here as well. I gotta make sure we're not shooting each other. You know, Miss P is gonna be here to shoot whoever walks through this door first, whether it's us or them. <laughs> Natalia's here too. Oh, boy. Not what I was planning to do. We do have to make sure that... Okay, Handy, with this gun that's going to just mow everyone down, you're going to go here and say, you're guarding the weapons. Natalia, where are you going? You're going to check out who walks through this space first. No, you're going there. You're going there out of line of fire at Missa P. You two are going are gonna to guard who walks through this opening. <laughs> I just spent 20 minutes planning out this thing, and I'm throwing away all my plans. So yeah, this is a multi-episode event here. Let's just put it that way. I gotta, I gotta do it all over again. Um, okay, so I guess Eric, I guess you're the star of the show here. Your melee skill of uh, skill of three. Mm-hmm. David, you were going to be melee, but you're not skilled up to do it. But I should at least get you 
Where are you? You're way back over there. We'll deal with this another time. Okay, I need to get a club on you at least. Okay, well, they're going to dive through here. They're... If they wanted to go this way to escape, they would have to go through these doors and through here and out. So that, Michael, draft, you're going to sit here. Last line of defense. Who else is available? Let's really think this through. Catherine, can you do any good from that distance? Probably not. David is over here, but he has no attack skill or defense skill whatsoever. So that's just guaranteeing a major injury there. So really it's with, and we have Alicia here, okay. It's with whom we have right now. Alicia, you're parked right there for now. Handy, you're going back there to guard the weapons. Rabbit can headshot really well. He's our best shot. Hmm. I guess what I'm weighing is, do we take him down or do we try to just knock him out and continue our our recruiting? But at you know 99 each, except for Schmidt, was it 92? So Schmidt's the one, at the very least, we want to maintain. Would like to keep purple. It's another. It's one of the few guys we ever get a hold of. So it's Oyster and Cheetah that we could take down for good. I wonder, if two go down, if two die, will it act like a raid? 50% and they break. Or do we have to knock every one of these guys out? I have a feeling that that's probably the case. They're all individual bases here. Okay, well, they're going to come through like that. Eric is on his way to take out Cheeto, and he's going to recalculate as she moves. Um, Chantigo doesn't know what to do. Um, I don't know what to do with him. Chantigo, if I put you behind Natalia, you won't have a line of sight to shoot here, I don't believe. I don't think so. Let's get you instead... Wow, that's a line of fire, Miss P. I can't put you there, can I? No. So I can't put you behind any kind of cover. I can put you here in case they decide to melee attack Natalia. And you two... Well... You know, the melee part, though, works the best in a wide open space. We can't fight through a door. Only one person can. Yeah, there's a lot of thinking to go to to figure this out before we are doomed. Needs on uh, character again two four four three four. I need Alicia. She's our powerhouse. She's an aide at melee. Yeah, Alicia, get down here and melee attack Cheetah as well. And we'll just have to see how this goes. Natalia's getting into place. Shantigo's getting into place. Rabbit is here until R2 get down there to melee attack. Then you got to pull back because you're going to shoot them. I guess we're just going to take this one frame at a time. Who else can I call in here then? Tomasov, character, you're a six at melee. I got to get you in here too. Get in here and melee purple. At least you get going in this direction. Klaus is standing where right now you're over here getting ready to go save us from the other thing you are an eight melee you got to get in on this too all right you get in here and melee oyster um no equip a steel club and melee oyster that's better tomislav equip a steel pl a club melee purple Okay, now we're starting to think here. So you you three are the, the powerhouses for melee that we have. We don't have any really good ones. Purple was pretty good, though. Am I remembering that right? Purple? Character? 12. Ooh. Don't let Purple get a weapon. Please. Please don't. Purple's going to kick our butts. Hmm. Okay, who else? Sangria, what were your skills? Zero. Okay, there's nobody else out here. I gotta make sure no one wanders up there, too. Over here. Nobody. 
Uh, further away. Who have I missed? Kathra, you're a four, like two or three of the other ones down there. Michael, you're a two. David, a one. Okay, well, I think I've run out of options here. We have three or four heading into melee. Um, Alicia, I could divert you. You're real close. Grab that steel club, then you head down after that to take out Cheetah. And Rabbit... No, who was the one that was from this area? It was Eric, and he's already equipped. Miss P is not able to do any good here. All right, well, I think we have kind of a plan, but they're going to call our plan before we get the weapons and get down here. And they're probably going to go this way. They're going to go this way. They are. I would imagine their escape route, it was probably calculated from this room, which means it's right here, which means they're planning on this. That's my guess. I may be wrong. Maybe they're going to head out the door here and head out like this. Hmm. Are there people that I already want to get moved into a different place before we get there. Missa P has a better chance of hmm of not killing them because she's got a lower shooting skill. Rabbit's probably going to head shoot them and they're they're down. They 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 they're gone. Handy, you were going where you're protecting the weapons. Rabbit is the big question mark. What do I do with Rabbit? Run speeds purple 4.06 cheetah 4.47, Oyster, 4.10, Schmidt, 3.14, because bad back, bad back, okay. Well, let's let it run a few frames. Going, Getting into place, the door's just going to open up for them. You'd think they have to bang on it or something. That's too easy. Rabbit's already ready to take him out. Hunter lacks weapon. Oh, because we just swapped somebody out. So Rabbit's already going to hurt us. Okay. Rabbit. What's the call here? Are they going this way? Or are they going that way? Because that's the direction you need Rabbit to go. Michael's going to be over here. We have a lot of guns up here. So Rabbit, run out here with Michael. The pathway is here. Head into that space right there. And I think you can still get there in time. You're going this way right here. Okay. All right. First one is Eric. What's Kethra doing? Is she going to beat on Bugsy? She is. I figured that's what was going to happen. Bugsy, training. There's no release. All I can do. There's no master. I can... I've already told you to go... Wait a minute here. Um, no, okay. We didn't assign animals because we already moved the zone away. Okay, never mind. Okay. So, Bugsy, I could tell you to go into a safe zone. Maybe that will trigger you to bug out of there in time. I don't know. If I told you to go there, what would you do? It, there's going to be a delay because they're going to be attacking already. But that does buy us time to get all of our melee characters down here. So, unfortunately, Bugsy just may be um, toast. They're all concentrating. So, Bugsy, unfortunately, is our distraction. All right. Eric? Where'd Eric go? I see his, uh, you're already in place. All right, we need to watch this. Where? There's Eric. I need you... Yeah, you're getting surrounded. I need you up here. Real quick. Alright. Attack. Oyster. All of you guys. I can't right-click there. Okay. Then Alicia. Boy, I'm, I'm getting confused here. There you are, Alicia. Oyster, you're the first one in line. Eric. 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 Oh, this is frustrating. Too many things stacked in here. Eric, Melee Oyster, Klaus, if I can get you. Melee Oyster. We only have the three. Okay, so you guys are all doing that now. We have no guns coming in. Tomislav, Melee Oyster. We'll go until Schmidt or Cheetah gets in place. 
All right. Oyster needs health. We're starting to work on you. Is anybody working on us at the moment? Schmidt, you are just moving. You're just one out of there. You are oyster. You're getting you're getting attacked. All right. One of us. Let's get rid of prisoners have staged a breakout. They are somehow they they've somehow defeated the door locks and are making their way out. They may seek weapons, fight, or try to escape. The prisoners are Oyster Purple Cheetah Schmidt. Prisoners are more likely to attempt breakout when they are numerous and healthy. So it has nothing to do with moods. Is that what I'm reading out of that? Otherwise, colonist needs treatment. Alicia got bopped. We have... So, by whom? Combat. Cheetah. Where's Cheetah? Right there. Okay. Now, purple was the dangerous one. Purple is in the back. Still going after the dog. Good. Well, sorry, Bugsy, but good. So, in that case, Cheetah. So, Alicia, you go after Schmidt. Hmm. I can't get anybody after... I guess I can send Klaus after Cheetah. And I can't get Tomislav in there. I could try. Let's put you after Cheetah too and see how people move around. But I think it looks like Tomislav is out of this. We, we can't get past those wall of, of us. Okay, so Alicia, health, only been hit once. Klaus has been hit once. And Eric has not... Yes, has been hit once by a human head. <laughs> Tomislav is backup plan with his bionic arm to swing that club. Boy, we should get him in there. But Alicia's taking it. All right, what's... Klaus is moving in, going after. Tomislav's moving in right there. Okay, Alicia. I could be reading this off, but... Uh, Maybe we'll get into that later. I kind of just want to concentrate. I get too many fronts all in the same little area here. Now, Klaus is being hit by Purple and Schmidt. Klaus is probably not in the best place right now, especially with Purple down there. Klaus. Klaus. Yeah. There we go. Go up here. Okay, we have one down. So you two. Melee. Melee. Klaus, just turn around and go after Purple. I think that's the best way. Eric, you're going after Purple as well. Okay, that's helping. Alright, another one down. Colonist needs rescue. Who is that? Klaus is down. Okay. Interesting. Let's try something. We haven't had a situation since the, almost the beginning of the series when Tomislav went down over here and I couldn't get Ham to go and rescue him. We have rescue set for whom right now? Rescue is haul that column, release, rescue. All right, we have Ham and Sienna, our rescue. If I were to switch you over to Klaus, you over to Klaus, and then rescue is. This right here. You're going to be Klaus, this whole group. I want to see if a dog or a pig will come down and rescue them. We can't right now because we need to keep bopping them. We can't. In fact, it, he probably went down because I told him to turn around and get out of there. And I think they hit him in the back. And maybe, you know, a fleeing situation might actually put the odds against him there. It's possible that the game's designed that way. Um... So, which means I need to zone the animals, pigs, add, wild boars, into here. I'm just going to draw you a path all the way down into there. Like so. And then you can have this whole area. And let's just see if anything responds. I'm not sure, but I'm, I want to try that. Otherwise, Klaus, how you doing? Health? Well, you're down, yeah. Um... Cracks, bruises, um, I'm not seeing spine, not seeing brain. There is a bruise to the head. So you're just down for the count. Okay, but you're still alive. We have taken Schmidt down. We have taken Oyster down. We have left Purple, which is the most dangerous. 
you guys are all going after purple right now. And you already are. Yes. Okay. So, Eric, how are your wounds right now? Almost nothing. Tomislav, almost nothing. Alicia, a little bit more, but not as bad as what Klaus went through. Klaus got surrounded. So, moving in. Yuta just caught my attention there. So, we're all surrounding Eric now. Cheetah and Purple are. So, it's up to you guys to move into place. Yep, Purple's down. Okay. Taking out Cheetah. Taking out Cheetah. Uh, right there. And down. Okay, well, we never did get a chance to test the dogs. Yeah, okay. So, I was going to say we're at 50 minutes and I should shut this down, but nah, let's go ahead and clean this mess up so you guys can see how it all works. First of all, we need to medical bed. This medical bed what? Normal? Normal. Superior. Let's medical bed that one. Superior. Normal. Alright, so let's medical bed that whole wall over there. That's four of them. That's all we need right now. And then four for when they're no longer needing medical attention. Okay. So first thing, Tomislav, you... Well, first of all, you guys are no longer drafted. Then Tomislav is right there. You're injured, but I want you to rescue uh, Klaus, which means you're going there. Um, this bed is unowned. Both of these could be medical as well. Yeah, and this one is Eric right now. Okay. Everybody's taking some injury. So we could even medical this one. Okay, there's four medicals. So we're going to have four injured people here. Okay, so Tomislav, I want you to rescue Klaus. Right there. And then... We'll let the other ones... Let's see, let's reset them. So Alicia... Resting, you're going to go right there. Actually, no, Eric's going to go right there. So you're resting to there. And Alicia, you're going to rest to here. That's fine. Um, Tomislav, what did you actually take for injuries? Not much. So you're going to go back to that medicine. Klaus is going to get blue medicine. He's got too many injuries. Eric... Just bruises. You're going back to there. And actually, it's had you set for Glitter World. David, you too? Yeah, no Glitter World. And Alicia, bruises and a crack. You're going to be there as well. So, Tomasov, you were too. Klaus, right there is blue. Okay, there's that. Now, so, Tomasov, you're going to rescue Klaus. I need other folks. You undraft and rescue Schmidt. Capture Schmidt. Okay. And over here, undraft and capture uh, Cheetah. And Shantigo, undraft. Yeah. And capture... Where is another name? Click over here. Purple. And we have somebody over here. You guys undraft and... Michael, actually, Handy, why don't you do it? You run down here and capture whoever was left. Uh, Purple, Schmidt, Cheetah, and who's the other? Down here? Oh, rescue Bugsy. Okay, we've got to get Bugsy saved. In that case, Michael, there's somebody who didn't get rescued. Oh, we have a stack here. Cheetah. No, it's Cheetah and Klaus. There's a stack here. I lost somebody. Michael. All right, there. Purple. Here. Oyster. There you are. Okay. But it's a mess in there. All right, let's let everybody do this stuff. And we'll get our wounded all put back together again. Natalia, what happened to you? Who did I have you deal with? You're in here. Okay. No, that's Shantigo. Where's Natalia? Did I not click her? She's right there. Okay. So Shantigo's going to get back to that. Good. Who dropped this? Steel Club. Oh, Klaus did. Ooh, they could have picked that up, couldn't they? And think about that. So, Natalia, let's get you working on... Actually, let's look at their, their injuries. Health. Okay, because we hit them with clubs, so we crushed a stomach. Bruised the right arm. 
and club hmm you know before we go any further I want to do one thing Eric combat let's read Eric's combat log he's the one who who is geared up to be melee so let's see how this went for him and we'll just assume everyone else is kind of similar except for Klaus where his is mostly got got my leg broke got my my arm broke got my okay Eric used his firm left fist to smash cheetah clobbering her torso with grimacing dropped unconscious club okay the club does come into this good wondering why I was using a fist Eric swung his club at oyster Eric wielding his club cleverly heartlessly shoved oyster in the left leg <laughs> oyster attempted to use her left fist to smash Eric Oyster clobbered Eric in the left leg agonizingly. Eric swung his club at Oyster but missed. Eric smashed Oyster, injuring her, her left shoulder without emotion. Oyster flailed toward Eric but missed. Eric attempted to smash Oyster with his club but stumbled at the last second. Oyster flailed toward Eric but the swing went wide. Eric, wielding his club with proficiency, fiercely smashed Oyster in the right hand. Oyster dropped unconscious because of a bruise in the right hand. Yeah, that'll do you every time. Eric, wielding his club with strength, heartlessly struck purple on the right leg. Eric tripped. <laughs> Eric, wielding his club masterfully, heartlessly jabbed purple in the right arm. Purple missed Eric with a smash from his head. Cheetah hit Eric with a smash from her left fist. And, oh, we get to scroll. Eric, I lost it. Cheetah, left fist. Eric prodded Cheetah with a club, jabbing her right clavicle and right shoulder in an explosion of gore. Cheetah struck Eric, smashing his left leg while grimacing. Cheetah slammed Eric, lacerating his left leg while laughing. <laughs> Eric broke Cheetah's left eye with dexterity. Really? Now, how accurate is this to what we're going to find in here? Cheetah. Right there. Do you have a broken left eye? Left eye crushed. Cheetah no longer has an eye. Cheetah gets healed up and let go. I don't think that's going to work for us anymore. So, let, yeah, let's look at uh, Schmidt. How you doing? Uh, health. Skull cracked. Torso Bad back, bruised, left shoulder bruise, rib crack. Hmm. Right hand frostbite scar and bruise club. Okay. Um. We still have someone being oyster still being hauled down. Okay. Um. Who was doing that? Up here, Michael was. Miss Pete, why don't you do that instead? That's yeah. Reserved for Mike. Well, okay. We'll go ahead and let that run. Purple, stomach, crush, but it's yellow, so I think it's repairable. Okay, so we've got, and I'm going to stop Thomas Law before too much happens there. Oyster just dropped in, um, stab to the brain. Oh, that doesn't look good. And torso, spine cracked, left leg, left hand is bruised, left shoulder, right hand. Yeah, we may have changed our plans a bit with some of these... Um, prisoners I don't know so what happens when we get 10 of them wow okay Klaus where are you at you were taken to I don't know anymore you're still being taken you're going to the good place I forgot about the hospital beds we're set Eric drop into Klaus you're going where you're going to the I don't know one of these two Okay, well, <laughs> and we've got some blue medicine over here. We don't, so we're going to have to make some trips. Unfortunately, it's not being stored here. And then, Alicia, you are heading to there. You're already there. Natalia, let's have you take care of... I've already told you to take care of purple. You're cloud watching. No, take care of... Who was the, the worst one? Needs, uh, health, so 88%, 50%, and... Nothing's written. So take care of Cheetah with the left eye. Yeah. So Natalia, you're going to take care of Cheetah first. And then what happens to the rest, I don't know. We'll get Tomislav in here. 
with with a Klaus, which is a long way in there. Taking a long time. Hmm. At least we have the auto door there. Cheetah is no longer capable of walking. And you are going there. Okay. So, Tomislav, you're not going to relax socially. No, let's get um, right there. Let's... Where's Ten? Right there. Ten Klaus. So you're going to take care of Klaus. And then let's have Eric drop into this bed. And let's have Alicia drop into this bed. Okay. So no more swapping these things out anymore. You're an Eric bed. You are just a hospital bed. You are a Klaus bed. And... Pause, pause. I can't pause in here. Where's Klaus? There you go. some reason you're at the bottom now. Pause. What was that? Bugsy is no longer capable of walking. Where is Bugsy? Right there. So you're just healing away. Health. Neck, bruise, body, spine, crack, front leg, bruise. But everything... It's not officially healed. Hmm. But we'll be getting better, I guess. Natalia, where are you? You're right there. Let's have you next to take care of Bugsy. Okay. And then Tomislav may next take care of a prisoner. Probably purple. Something like that. After you take care of Klaus. Okay. Alicia and Eric may heal on their own just because of the, the speed of the hospital bed and the addition of the vitals monitor without any medicine at all. But Klaus needs some specific help. So let's get Klaus taken care of and then get Tomasov over there to work on purple and then I'll probably call the episode done and I'll go ahead and finish them up and clean up and then get started getting ready for the, uh, the big battle up there at the poison ship. So Klaus right there, health putting you all back together again and even though it's only blue medicine not the other quality 100% we should have some really good mojo going on here with all of this uh, superior hospital bed stuff going on you are well we you interrupted Eric's sleep Tomislav and then let's have you resting nope you're coming over here to work on purple right there and why resting Oh, resting meaning you want to get healed yourself. When you're done doing purple, then why don't you... Uh, let's do this. Needs, because your health was only a bruise and a crack. You should be able to do yourself just fine, but I can't self-tend. Right there. Now I can. It wouldn't let me do it in the doorway for some reason. Then you can self-tend yourself. After, self-tend yourself. After you have done purple. I think that'll be fine. Natalia will continue working on the rest of these. And then we'll get back to these guys if they haven't already completed themselves. I think they will. Yeah. All right. So let's call that one done there. Next time we'll deal with the poison ship and all the excitement involved with that. So it's a Noble Rambler. Thanks for watching, guys. And we'll catch you later. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.